So we're on to the final vowel sound. This lecture is concentrating on one sound only, and the sound is uh, uh, as in sugar. Okay, this is an extremely important sound in English, perhaps the most important, because it's the most common sound in English. It's the one that appears most frequently. It's the sound uh, uh. It's a very short, simple sound, but it appears so often. So let me sh first of all focus on the shape of the mouth. Uh. What do you notice about the shape? Uh. It's just neutral. No rounded lips, no wide mouth, no open mouth. It's just neutral. Uh. As in sugar. Okay. Now, the second thing I want you to really pay attention to is where the sound appears in words. Now, the word sugar contains two syllables. This means two beats. Sugar. Sugar. Now, one of these syllables is stressed. The other syllable is unstressed. Which syllable do you think is unstressed? Sugar. Sugar. It's the second syllable. And in the second syllable, we have the sound uh, the target sound. Sugar. Sugar. So this sound that we're focusing on in this lecture always appears in an unstressed part of a word. Not every word, but many, many words. So when the word is, when the part of the word is unstressed, this could appear. Okay. Also, when we have words in English sentences that are unstressed, this sound very often appears. For example, the word the, T-H-E, the. This sound appears in that word, the, the. Can you hear? Uh, as in the. So the is very often unstressed when we say a sentence in English. For example, the boy went to the shop. The boy. The is very unstressed. We don't put emphasis on it. So whenever words don't have emphasis, whenever they're unstressed, very often we have this target sound. Uh. So let's look at the word list and it will become much, much clearer for you to grasp. So as you can see, we have the word list, the target sound practice word list. And I've highlighted all the areas where this sound appears. And also notice every section of the word where the sound appears is unstressed. Okay, keep this in mind. It's the unstressed part of the word. So let's start practicing this sound. Remember, the sound is uh, and the mouth is in a neutral position. So listen and repeat. Letter. About. Color. Paper. Police. Banana. Telephone. America. A camera. Okay, I hope that's cleared it up for you a little bit. If it's still a little difficult, don't worry. We have more practice to come. This is probably the most challenging sound in English because it's so short and it appears everywhere, but it's very difficult to, to really hear and to master 
this sound. But don't worry, we have more practice by the end of this and once you've uh, downloaded the extra resources, you will have mastered this sound. It's a very important sound. So now we're going to go to the minimal pairs. This will really help you to master the sound. So on the left, we have words that don't contain the sound uh, and on the right, we have words that contain the target sound uh. So they're basically the same words, except the words on the right have an extra sound, which is the target sound. So listen to each pair and repeat after me. Drive, driver. Way, away. Bout, about. Let, letter. Short, shorter. Dress, address. So I hope that's made it a bit clearer for you. Go back and practice the minimal pairs again and really start to understand this sound because it's so short and so quick. It takes time for the ears to really grasp it. Now, this section is also very important, the target sound in use. So let's look at the first sentence. Every sentence we're focusing on contains the sound uh, as I've highlighted in each sentence. So sentence one, listen and repeat after me. This is the best burger I've ever eaten. Okay, sentence two. Listen and repeat. I'm going to America in April with Robert. Very good. And the last sentence. The scenery and the towns in Canada were amazingly beautiful. Okay. Don't worry if it's very difficult for now to really grasp this sound. Just start to notice it and download the PDF, which will help you take your understanding to the next level. And the MP3 will really help you master the sound. So the MP3 is key because you need to get more and more exposure to this sound to really master it. So listen to the MP3s as many times as you can. This way you'll train your ears to really notice the sound. So this is the last vowel sound. Please try to master it before you move on to the next section. The next section of this course is of course the consonants. Very important sounds in English. The consonants are coming next. So master this sound and I'll see you in the next section.